All right, folks, fast food fitness here. All right, we're going to mess with the 1999 F-150 again, and I have going to make my wife happy. Check it out. I'm about to install, yes, the first ever cabin air filter on this thing. Now, you want to make your wife happy. You got to keep the air clean inside your vehicle. I've been running this thing for 285,000 miles. It's beautiful. Check it out yes look at that yes drool all you want all over it. it is amazing it's been really good to me I've driven it all over the place so anyways huh i decided i'm gonna clean this air up a little bit and i was gonna go and just you know, simply clean out or exchange the cabin air filter and i found out they all don't have one they don't it's an option you can get from the factory when you first buy the thing well, I bought this thing used with like 50,000 miles on it, and it didn't have that option. It had everything else. It's a Lariat package, four-wheel drive, a little leather, looking good, you know, feeling good. Oh, but no clean air. So did some research, and uh, check this out. It's pretty easy. It's not that hard. A little bit of time. It took me probably 20 minutes to get this thing ready to go. But all right, let me show you what's happening here. So we are on the passenger side. This is where your cabin air filter will be. You'll have to drop this piece right here. It is sitting right there. All it is is a little cover. Doesn't has, has no function other than just trying to make your truck look beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna fold it out. Look, check it out. You have one, two, three screws. These two are in the front, that one's in the back. The two in the front, pretty easy to get to. Five sixteenths, a little nut. One in the back, pretty easy to get to also, but you can't see it, so you kind of have to use your fingers. You can get that. Anyways, drop that down. No big deal. All right, then what you're going to have to do is, let me get you a flashlight so you can see down there just a little bit. You're going to have to get down here, and you'll see here's your front. All right, and then you slide all the way back to the back and you got this box right here. Where this box is, if you have the option on it, you'll see that spot right there, a little T sticking out. There'll be a screw there. There'll be a screw there on that one, a screw on that one. And then there's three more back there in the back that you can't see. There'll be screws in there. And you just undo those screws and, and the the top or i say the the lid or what's holding your filter in will be right there well it doesn't have it so what i had to do and what you'll have to do if you want to put a filter in is you'll have to get yourself yes a box cutter okay and get in there and you're gonna have to you know just cut out where that box should be coming off that lid. You're gonna cut it out. It, just, it took me a slice. Let's go and get my light going that way a little bit better. That might be a little bit better. So it might be a slice right down through here. That's one. And then we'll slice in the back. That's two. And then one there on the side, and then another on the side. All right. And then what's gonna happen is that piece is gonna come out. Just now, notice this side. See how dirty it is. That's what the filter should have been picking up. It's not there. Anyway, so I took a screwdriver up in there, stuck it up in the side, and pow, broke that piece out. Now, when it did, it left that piece and that piece. So what I had to do is get my wrench on that piece and break it out. Wrench on that piece and break that out. And what that did is it equaled almost the size of my filter that I bought from Amazon that, I'm, that I've stuck up in there. Now I had to get in there, and this wasn't a perfect cut, so I had to get in there and do some more whittling and cutting a little bit and trying to make this a little bit better. And let me show you the results. So, here we go. Now, check it out. The cabin air filter, yes. I can stick it in there, pull it out. The air flows toward the seats. So you gotta make sure it's good to go. Shove that back in there. That's pretty good. Nice and tight steel. I believe that will stay there by itself. I might come back, put some tape, little tape over right there, a little tape over right there, and boom, I've got a cabin air filter now. Yes, 
can breathe better. All right, we get a vacuum clean here, clean it up. So there you go, I hope that helps you. Again, I just gotta take this, put it back. Boom, it'll be done, three little screws. Stick it in there. Go get you a cabin L filter, stick it in there. Breathe a little bit better. That's right, we've got it all put back together. You can see right there, it's all back together. There's the front. Had to put those th three screws in. And what I realized, this is really making me happy, is, I don't know if you can see it or not. What I did is I stuck some duct tape over, let's see if I can get that light adjusted, over the filter itself. But anyways, I'm never gonna have to take that front plate out again. I'm actually gonna be able to reach right up in there where that duct tape is and then I can pull that air filter out right now without ever taking anything else out again. Anyways, easiest mod or one of the easiest functional good mods for your truck. Get that done. It's good stuff. I'll try to put a link to the, uh, the air filter I bought below this right here in the description. Thank you for watching. And you guys uh, are awesome. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.